Yo, what's going on everybody? I'm your host, Baby Spine, and today we are taking a look at exercise here on the MetaQuest 3. This game is currently available through App Lab for $14.99, and the developers have given me a free code here to go ahead and take a look at it and show it to you guys here on YouTube, and that's exactly what we're gonna do. So let's go ahead and jump into it. We're gonna go ahead and select the visual for uh, you know beginners here. We're, we're new to the game, so let's, let's go ahead and check it out. All right. What do you want to do? Well, let's see. Let's go ahead and hit physical. And let's go ahead and try out some of the fit games. Because I believe the fit games are going to be more if you're like gamer oriented and you don't want to necessarily feel like you're doing the, uh, the gym thing and you just kind of want to have more of a gamer experience but get some exercise at the same time. And you know me, that's how I've always got my cardio through VR is by doing uh actually playing games rather structured fitness routines and what's cool about this app is it actually offers both of those so we're going to start with the games we're going to try out boxing robot jab jab hook jab hook hook upper cut hook hook upper cut jab hook hook jab hook hook jab hook now we got the 40 seconds that time <laughs> Hey, almost got top 10 with that one. Let's go back and let's try gym class. You know, go with some actual, uh, you know. Actually, before we do that, let's do some workouts. All right, let's try cardio explosive. Ready? This is the way, keep it up. One less to go. Perfect. That's it. Repetition completed. Get ready. Okay. Mobility, stretching. Wow, so many different workouts here. Mobility and stretching. Let's do some stretching. Probably smart to start with stretching now that I'm now that I'm thinking back on this. Probably should have started. Let's do some upper body or uh, actually a full body approach sounds good. Get ready. Repetition completed. Let's go try one of the gym classes now. Hey everybody, post commentary spine weighing in here just to give you a quick note that the gym classes do support multiplayer up to five players online. However, I will just be doing a solo gym class session in this video. We'll go with Mike and Sophie. Let's go with day one. Full body burn. Hey guys, my name is Mike. Welcome to day one of our 10 day full body burn exercise program designed to sculpt your entire body from head to toe. All right, Today, I'll be leading you through five different movements, three rounds. Let's hop right into it. Movement number one, skipping. We're just gonna be driving our knee into our chest and then driving that heel right back into the ground. This is just designed to get our heart rate up, get the blood pumping, because we have a fun workout ahead of us. All right, we're gonna do it. 
Uh, make sure to maintain a nice tall posture. Shoulders should be sitting right over your hips. And once again, that knee is just driving into your chest, right back into the ground. Well, I'm not sure if, it, if we're doing it like her, she just doesn't Round one of all these How movements supposed to be doing like this? It's gonna be fairly simple. And then in rounds two and three, I'm gonna challenge you a little bit. All right, we got five more seconds. Four, three, squeeze that core, two, and one. Shake it out. Good job, guys. Movement number two, low impact jumping jack. I want you to reach out with your right foot, tap the ground, come right back to center. Arms are coming overhead, almost like you're clapping, but you're not. <laughs> I mean, I guess you could if you want to. I get you can look at the avatars for a little guidance here. Once again, just designed to get your heart rate up. Challenging your balance. And it's also a pretty good shoulder workout. After about 15 reps of this, your deltoids are going to be on fire. Nice, guys. We got five more seconds. Four, three, two, and one. You feel the burn? Good job. Movement number three, standing hip abduction. I want you to balance on one leg as the other leg comes laterally to the ceiling. Switch sides. Nice. This movement is really challenging our balance and building our hip strength. Very important. You can either keep your hands in your chest like me, or you can put them on your hips. Whatever you find best. Try the chest. Nice. Make sure you're going nice and slow, really activating your medial glute. We got five more seconds here. Four, three, two, and one. Ooh. Nice, guys. Movement number three, or sorry, movement number four, lunges. We're going to reach out with our right leg. All right. Drive right back to a standing position. Nice, guys. Here we're building our quads. We're building our glutes. We're challenging our hip flexion. Make sure your hips stay square to the wall in front of you and that that back knee hovers right off the ground. You don't want to rest it on the ground when you come down. All right, no rest. You want to stay in that isometric strong position and then explode back up to a stand. Good job, guys. We've got five, four, three, two, and one. Shake it out. Whew. And then we're gonna finish with the heel lift. So you're gonna drive through your toes, heels come into the sky, right back down. This is working our calf muscles. If you want an extra challenge, you can hold like for one second at the top of each rep and really squeeze. Nice. Be sure to always reference our avatars if you ever need a little extra guidance. I lose a little bit of balance on my mat Another here. Another way to make this harder oh. is to come down very nice and slow. That two inch thick mat I'm playing on. Actually adds a little bit of extra resistance yeah. to it. Ah. Just like that. We have five, four, three, two, and one. Good job, guys. Give yourself a pat on the back. You are officially complete with round one. Wait, we're gonna round take one. about a 10 second break and then we'll hop right back to the top. All right. All right, round two, starting with skipping. Drive that knee into your chest, right back down to the ground. Now, I told you I was going to challenge you a little bit more in round two. I meant it. Pick up the pace. 
That's right. And if you're feeling extra ambitious, don't be afraid to add a little bit of a jump in there. All right, let's go yeah. to ambitious mode. Nice. Or you could just stay right here marching from a strong, stable position. Whatever you find best. We got five more seconds here. Four, three, two, and one. Good job, guys. Movement number two, low impact jumping jack. Once again, we're balancing on one foot. As the other foot comes out, taps your side, come right back to center. Remember, we're also working those shoulders. Make sure to reach your hands as high as you can over your head. while maintaining a neutral spine, still looking forward. And the challenge, here it comes. Speed it up. All right, we're all speed nice. up. And for my fellas and females that are feeling a little extra ambitious, feel free to actually do jumping, jumping jacks. All right. No judgment if you're not feeling it today. You can also just stay from that strong, stable position Step inside to side. We got five, four, three, two, and one. Good job, guys. All right, moving into our standing hip abduction. Find a nice stable position with your left leg as you raise your right leg laterally to the sky. Right back to a stand. Switch sides. Nice. Guys, the medial glute is so important to strengthen. A lot of people neglect this muscle, but it is one of the most important muscles in your body. You know, oh, yeah. we're moving it's forward and standing. backward a lot of the time, but you know, humans, we're not really moving laterally all the time. So it's very important that you pay attention to building these muscles because it's just gonna take a lot of weight off of your hip flexors and it's gonna make your whole hip cage that much stronger. We got five, four, three, two, and rest. Nice, guys. Moving into our lunges. Everybody's favorite. Stepping out with the right leg, exploding back to a standing position. Your knees should be tracking right over your big toe. Nice tall posture. Staying square to the um, wall in front of you. Or if you're looking right at me, make sure you're staying completely <sighs> square to me. Come and on, Eddie, close the door. Not letting Get out of the recording. Cage. Aim left or right. Aim it right at me. Nice, guys. We got five, four, three, two, and one. Nice. <laughs> Final movement of round two, we have our heel lift. Lifting up on our toes as the heels come to sky and then coming right back down to the ground. Nice, building those calf muscles. And once again, if you need that extra challenge, feel free to pause at the top of each rep and then come down super slow. Nice. We have five, four, three, two, one. Bravo. Good job, guys. That is two down. We have one to go. Keep that energy and uh, let's finish strong. All right, you know the deal by now. We got about five more seconds and then we'll hop into round three. All these movements you're very familiar with at this point, I ask you to ask yourself how hard you can push yourself in this final round. Good luck. All right, starting off with the skips. Drive that knee into your chest. Contract your core as that knee comes up. Nice, and once you get a hang of it, if your body's feeling like you can push an extra push, 
Push it that extra push. Speed it up. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. And if you want to skip, don't be afraid to skip. Okay. This is the final round. You should be feeling good. Those endorphins are going. Sweat might be dripping from your, your face. That's a beautiful thing. That's why we're here. We got five, four, three, two, and one. Movement number two, low impact jumping jack. Reaching out, tapping our toe to the side, coming back to center. We're gonna do real jumping jacks. Remember to reach those arms as high as you can. And if you wanna speed it up, feel free to speed it up. It's the final round. It's the final round, my friend. Get those shoulders going. Nice and stable in your hips. Moving and grooving. We got five, four, three, two, and one. Movement number three, standing hip abduction. Find your balance and then lift that leg to the sky. Switch. Nice, this one, I challenge you to go even slower because this one's about building the proper muscles. All right, we want we want our firing patterns to be on point when it comes to this small muscle on the hip. Challenging our balance. Good job, guys. I'm not gonna talk as much here because I want you to focus. Five, four, three, two, and one. Lunges, starting with our right leg. Remember, hips stay square to the wall in front of you. Back knee should be dropping right behind your hip, but not all the way to the ground, just hovering right above the ground so you keep that tension in your quads and your glutes. We're here to build strength. We're here to build confidence, muscle, endurance. And you showed up for yourself today, so guess what? You're doing all of those things. Congratulations. Five more seconds. Four, three, two, and one. Yeah. Final movement of the day. We have our heel lift. Drive those toes into the ground. Lift your heel to the sky. You can keep your hands right in your chest or on your hips if you prefer. really contract your calf at the top of this the peak contraction of this movement and for that extra challenge squeeze and hold at the top and then come down very slow nice guys only five more seconds four three two and one yeah the hard part is over guys time flies when you're having a good time now let's make sure that we stretch so you can still walk tomorrow very important to stretch we're going to start with our tight hamstring stretch so feet are going to be together and i want you to relax your head your neck everything is just melting to the ground Pay attention to your breath. Nice and smooth reps with your breath. Nice, one more inhale. And as you exhale, I want you to roll up vertebrae by vertebrae. Head coming up last.
Nice. Now walk your legs out as far as they can go. We're coming into our hamstring. I don't know. Not my controller. There it is. Now reach your hands to the ground. Relax your head, your neck. Everything is just melting to the floor. Deep breath in. Big exhale. Nice. Breathe into your tight areas. And as you exhale, same thing, vertebrae by vertebrae. Slow as you can. Nice. We're training posture. Every time we're doing a movement, every time we're stretching, we're always thinking posture first. Posture first, muscle will come, I promise. And then our final stretch of the day, abdominal stretch. I want you to reach your hands to the sky. Take a big inhale. And big exhale as you come back to center. Big <sighs> inhale. Big exhale. Nice. One more. Big inhale. And let it all out. <laughs> Great job today, guys. Once again, my name is Mike. Thank you so much for joining me today. We'll see you back tomorrow for day two with Sophie. Have a great day. Well, all right, ladies and gentlemen, that was exercise here on the Meta Quest 3. Again, you can find this game on App Lab for $14.99, and it's got everything you need for a full body workout, stretching, cardio games, it's got it all. It's even got multiplayer classes if you got friends that you want to go along with, even though I don't. But that's besides the point. Anyways, guys, if you enjoyed this video, I'll put a link in the description. If you want to check this game out, be sure to hit the like and subscribe button. And uh, I'll see you guys on the next one. Jurassic Baby Spine signing out. Peace.